Hey YouTube! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen Harris and I am here with another Get Ready With Me video that is so hot. I'm wearing my Care Bears onesie. I usually don't even wear it that often because it gets so warm. And also, have you guys ever tried to go to the bathroom with a onesie? It's a real pain in the ass. Anyways, I have another get ready with me video because I've been buying all this new makeup and I just did one for my birthday and it was so fun that I was like, hey, why don't I do more? I think that'll be fun. I think my subscribers might enjoy it. So let me know what you guys think of the get ready with me videos. Are they helpful? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Just let me know. It's also kind of a first impression because I did get some new makeup. Sephora box right there, so we're gonna unbox that as well. But yeah, let's hop into it. Really quick though, I do wanna remind you guys, I do upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of content from me. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would totally recommend doing that right now so you can keep up with my videos. Also, I do have a quick little giveaway going on on my Q&A videos. I will link those videos down in the description box. All you have to do is just leave me a suggestion of a video you want me to film in 2018. So, should be pretty easy. Also, you have to be subscribed to my channel, obviously. Anyways, enough blabbering. Let's get into this. Get ready. So, I actually do have somewhere to be, but I thought I'd do my makeup first, which is why I'm in my onesie. And uh, I think I'm gonna go get, like, just some apps with a friend. So, I did get the new NARS foundation. Now I tried the, I tried a different NARS foundation in my other video if you guys are interested in that one. This is an older one by NARS. This is the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation and this one is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I was looking at the box in the new one and it says meet NARS first longwear foundation that looks stronger, stays longer with skin recognition pigments for the truest color match and 16 hours of wear. But I swear I read the box on this one and it did say it was 16 hours as well. I actually wore that foundation on my birthday and it did last a really long time. So I was very impressed with it. I'm already looking for my face palette. Okay, so I usually have a little palette that I put stuff on but I can't seem to locate it. So this is just going straight onto my hand and then onto my face, this bottle is basically just like this one it comes with the pump so we don't have to pay for one and uh, they both have one fluid ounce each this one has like um, the frosted glass and this one just has regular glass in case anyone cared but I'm just gonna pump a little bit of this on now I've never used this foundation and uh, I did put on like some of the Sunday Riley Juno oil this morning, but I'm actually filming pretty late in the evening. It's about six o'clock here in Fargo. So I don't really have anything on on my face, but I wanted to see what this foundation was like without any primer because it's a radiant long wear foundation and usually I add radiance onto my skin with like MAC strobe cream or you know any of my face oils will usually make me a little bit dewier so and usually I start with my eyeballs so I don't know what made me start with foundation but that's okay I think we'll see so I've done about I did a pump now I'm doing two more pumps so about three pumps and I want to make sure I get some good full coverage because I do like to be pretty flawless with my foundation. I'm not really into like a light foundation. I really like a full coverage matte foundation. Even though I have dry skin, my skin can handle a lot of foundation and it usually doesn't look cakey once I'm done. So yeah. This one is blending pretty well. I, I think I want a little bit more just to make sure I'm nice and flawless. I couldn't tell you how much that foundation was. I think usually NARS foundations are in like the $40 range, if anyone cares. 
And I'm also using this shade Syracuse, which is my regular winter shade for NARS foundations. So I definitely feel like it does look matte. It's pretty lightweight, it doesn't feel heavy. Mm, I feel like it is emphasizing just like some of the imperfections I have on my skin, but I don't know if that's because I'm looking at it in my simple human mirror, so we'll have to see how it wears throughout the night. And then I'm going to do concealer, and this is a new one I picked up from Urban Decay. And this is, I don't have a new concealer to try out, so this is the one I uh, used in my last Get Ready With Me as well. And I thought it wore pretty well. I had it on yesterday for my birthday. And so it's definitely very creamy. So I thought it lasted really well on the skin. Um, and I don't think you need a ton of it. And I would definitely recommend using a sponge to blend. There are some concealers I can use with a brush with, but most concealers I just like to use a sponge because it's damp, so it helps spread things out a little bit better. So I'm just going to go around my eye area. So what I'm doing with this concealer is basically prepping my lid as well as concealing the under eye because it's a nice thick concealer. So I'm using it as a dual purpose. You definitely don't need to buy a separate eye primer. You can definitely use a concealer as a eye primer as well. So there's a lot of products that you can use for multiple things and uh, in case you guys didn't know I just wanted to share that tip with you. So done with foundation and concealer now we need to set it. Let me see here. So I have this new Smashbox what is this called? Dry and Deck Out Sculpting Cheek Palette and there is a setting powder in this one. What is it called? It's a uh, like a it's like a matte banana powder. So I'm just gonna use that. I'm gonna grab this brush from Morphe. Ooh, it's pretty powdery, and I'm just gonna set my under eye with it and my lid. And of course, you want to set your chin right here on the nose because I'm always rubbing my nose in the winter time and then just distributing around the face. It was a little bit powdery but not too bad. I feel like I should just do the rest of my face makeup. Ah, uh, Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Okay, so I don't know if I want to use the contour. So there's a contour shade right here but I'm going to dip into the bronzer. I'm more interested in the bronzer. I feel like I haven't contoured really in a long time. I just you know, it's whatever. This palette, I will link it if it's still on sale. I got it for 17 bucks, And I don't really use a lot of Smashbox makeup, so I thought this was a good way for me to give them a whirl, you know? I saw somebody talking about it on Instagram, and I was like, well, she, for that price. And it feels like such good quality. I'm actually really impressed by like the weight of it and stuff. We'll have to see how well it wears. I can't tell how much bronzer I have on. I try to like see if I can see it in the viewfinder but so far I'm looking really matte so it's definitely scaring me. I want to use this turn on petal blush. Oh gosh so powdery. I feel like I'm definitely looking very matte, so we'll have to jazz it up a little bit. So I like to put my blush on the apples and then just pull it back a little bit. And then highlighter is right here. So let's try it out. Ooh, this highlighter is very powdery. Whew. Mm. It's more, I think this would work better for somebody with lighter skin, but maybe you guys can see that. I'll add a little bit more on later. I'm going to put some of this Mario Badescu 
facial spray on because I feel really dry. Oh, okay, I don't like that highlighter. I really, really don't like the highlighter. It was very, it's very white. I feel like I just put like white powder all over my face. Anyway, weird. That is so freaking weird. Okay, eyeshadow palette. So, yesterday was my birthday and I ordered some makeup to celebrate and uh, I wasn't gonna get any of this stuff but I was like mm, treat yourself <laughs> so I did and I ordered some things from Sephora so I thought it'd be fun to show you guys what I got so I did pick up this set of beauty blenders I was attracted to this when it first launched but I've been playing with so many other beauty sponges I haven't really bought any beauty blenders recently but this was their summer fling set and it was on sale for like 30 something dollars and then Sephora did that 20% off on their sale items so I figured this was a really good price for three of them and yeah every once in a while I will whip out a beauty blender and use one so I was like oh might as well stock up and then you guys know I love Sunday Riley products so when they came out with an eye cream I had to hop right on it this is the autocorrect brightening and depuffing eye contour cream by Sunday Riley definitely not cheap but I'm so excited because you guys know I love skincare and I'm all about that anti-aging life so I picked that up and then I treated myself to two eyeshadow palettes I'm sure most of you are gonna be pretty shocked to see a Too Faced palette but I'm gonna blame this one on the fancy face she did a um, like a wish list no buy video and she put this on there. She was like, I swatched it and it was pretty good. And uh, I think I've heard quite a few quite a few people say they really liked this palette. So I was like, you know what? It's the end of 2017. Let me give Too Faced a little go around. So this is the chocolate gold palette by Too Faced. So I'm going to use one of these palettes today. These shimmer shades do look very very yummy so that's the one palette I picked up for my birthday and then I picked up the Violet Voss hashtag palette I'm actually a huge fan of Violet Voss's eyeshadow palettes I'm so glad they're selling on Sephora.com I do have three of their palettes so this would be the fourth one I was gonna get the Nicole Concilio palette but I honestly have to just stop myself and be like Karen you have so many of the Violet Voss palettes and when you're on YouTube I feel like I'm constantly buying new palettes so I was like you know better to try a different brand than keep buying from Violet Voss especially because I rarely have a chance to go back to palettes I own and play with them multiple times so usually what happens is it's a sick cycle once I test a new palette I have a new palette ready to go like wait in waiting you know so even like the Pat McGrath palettes, I love those palettes, but I've been testing so many palettes, I, I haven't had time to go back to those palettes, even though I really love them. So I really like how they did this like yellow to purple gradient, and this palette is matte, so that's really cool. And let's see what the inside looks like. Ooh. See, I feel like if you have a lot of Violet Voss palettes, they all look very similar. But I was like, since I could get it on Sephora, I was a little bit more motivated to buy this because I could try it and return it if I didn't like it. I know I like the formula of Violet Voss, so I'm really excited for this palette. Also, I'm going to shamelessly plug my Poshmark account. So if you guys are interested in shopping some of my gently used makeup, definitely go ahead and check that out. I will link it down below as well. I have a lot of like eyeshadow palettes that I'm trying to declutter. So if you're trying to score some makeup on a good price, definitely check that out. Okay, so still tr struggling to decide which palette to go for. I think I'm going to use the Violet Boss palette because I was envisioning like this purple look that I was going to do. Here's what the palette looks like in case you guys have not seen it. I'm going to dip into the shade called Sauce. Looks like the perfect curry shade for what I want to start off with. And I'm going to use a Morphe R37 brush. And we're just going to sweep that on. 
This is a really light color, so I'm like, I can't even see it really. I'm going to go into Savage, which is more like an orange color. Throw that into the crease as well. And I'm really just concentrating it onto the crease, and I'm not being very precise. I'm definitely like blowing it out. So just back and forth, and now I'm going to go into Goals, which is also another hot brown-orange shade. Just intensifying the crease a little bit more. Shimmer shade. So I'm going to go into TBT, which is, I'm assuming stands for Throwback Thursday. And I'm going to start blending that into the crease. And there is a little bit of fallout, but I'm also not dusting my brush off, which is a rookie move on my part. So let me remember to do that on this side. I'm also kind of being like a savage with my shadow, which is not usually... Well, no, I'm pretty savage. So again, I'm just concentrating this in the crease, but I'm not trying to be like uber precise or anything. This fallout is bugging me, so I'm going to attempt to dust that off. Now I have a purple face. Great. So fun. Loving life. I really hate the Smashbox palette. Like, it is not doing me any favors. And I don't know, I feel like the NARS foundation is so matte and that like palette is just like even more dull and boring so it's like one dull boring mess of a face look. I'm gonna go into the shade Fresh with this like fat chubby brush and just highlight my brow bone. I'm really doing my makeup like a savage. I don't... I don't know what's going on. Purpley look. I see the shade Relevant I think I might want to put that on the lid, otherwise I'm thinking pretty AF. But let's see what's in the chocolate bar palette. Because there's this purple in there too. Ooh, this smells so good. I feel like it's so matte, it's like emphasizing every single pore. It's driving me crazy. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me and I need to just like sweat into it. We'll have to see. So I'm gonna make sure that uh, my purple stays nice and vibrant. So I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Glitter Glue. This is just such a great primer if you want your shadow to look super opaque. So what I do is I work with one eye at a time and I usually grab a flat shader brush in my collection. This is just one by e.l.f. And I'll use one side of the brush to pat down the glitter glue, like so. And then I'll use the other side to go in with the shadow. So from the Violet Boss palette, I'm going to grab the shade Relevant. So let me grab some more glitter glue. With the Too Faced glitter glue, you want to do one eye at a time because this glue dries pretty quick too. So I just use the tiniest bit and honestly, this is one of my favorite things that Too Faced makes. It's like the perfect amount of sticky. It's not messy to work with. It's pretty easy. I just use a flat shader brush to pack on the glitter glue and then I will use another eyeshadow brush to pack on the shadow. So I just, I just press my brush into my eyelid and the glitter glue just adheres it to the lid and no fallout, no fuss, really good stuff. And I really like this color. Now, would I recommend you going out and running and getting this palette? 
Um, I think if you don't have any other Violet Voss palettes, this is a good buy for you. Personally, for me, I have four of them. Um, three of them are very similar to this format, and I also have the Ride or Die palette. So, I I wouldn't say I needed this palette. It was more so like a, ooh, I want to try it out. Why not? And I could get it on Sephora, so... I can still see some of the fallout, so I'm just fixing that, but uh, I'm going to stop with the eye look right here and switch to some liner. I've been trying out this one by It Cosmetics. I picked this up uh, based on a recommendation by Live Loves Her Makeup. This is a no tug uh, waterproof anti-aging gel eyeliner from It Cosmetics. I've only worn this one other time in my other Get Ready With Me, so... Definitely still testing it. But usually no eyeliner really lasts very long on me, so I was glad to pick this up when I got an Ulta coupon. Because um, they don't sell this on Sephora's website, just on the Ulta website, so I had to wait to get it. So I just put some black eyeliner and now I'm just going to go in with a pencil brush and do my lower lash line. So I'm going to dip into TBT and dust it off and then just blend it into the lower lash line. I'm not very good at doing my lower lash line. I know some YouTubers like go to town blending shadow into their lower lash line. This eye look is very <laughs> intense. So I'm going to stop there with the shadow. And I think I want a little bit of highlighter to go in the inner corner. And so I'm going to use this guy. This is MAC Go Happy Go Dazzlingly from the Winter Collection. This is a really beautiful highlighter. It's so subtle. I love it. So I'm just going to... I don't even think it's going to show actually on my inner corner. But let me show this to you on the face because I really don't like the Smashbox highlighter. And the MAC Holiday Collection is like 20% off right now. And I'm pretty sure everything is available too. It's kind of nuts. Okay. Whew. I'm so warm. So I'm going to save the chocolate bar for a separate video for you guys. Okay, so I did eyeliner. That was about it. I have a new mascara I want to try out. So let me curl my lashes quick. This is just a Sephora lash curler. And this one I've heard so much about. This is the Maybelline Total Temptations Mascara. And you guys know... This packaging is just goals. <laughs> I love a good blush colored packaging. Okay, so here's what it looks like. So cute. It's nice and matte. So let's see what the wand looks like. It's a pretty fat wand. I love Maybelline's mascaras usually, so. Okay. I like it. It looks good. So the other mascara I tried yesterday was this one from Essence. And I think this might be a nice one to just like separate my lashes some more. So I'm just going to go in with that. I feel like it's always nice to use a few different mascaras because they all do different things. And this one has a really good tiny brush I feel like for the lower lash line. Lashes look very spidery, so that's good. Brings some drama to this look, and so I'm going to skip on the falsies, even though that was the intended plan, and uh, now we just need a lip color. Okay guys, so I did my hair, I changed out of my onesie and all that jazz, and this is basically the completed look, and I'm just going to add Dose of Colors Mondays onto my lips. And this is just a very neutral shade. And 
I just need to give that a few seconds to dry. I do like the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick Formula. Not a huge fan of their eyeshadows or anything like that. Yeah, this is the finished look. I really liked the eyeshadow palette. Not a fan of this guy. I think this might be going back to Macy's even though it was super, super affordable. I just don't like to keep things that uh, I'm not going to use. So this might be going back and I really liked the mascara foundation I'm just not sure about yet I feel like it was definitely very matte and right now just because of the weather here in Fargo I'm really enjoying dewy foundations I'm going to spray more of this on I really like this Mario Badescu spray I think this is my favorite scent it definitely has that hint of lavender so I can definitely taste it every time I spray it. Um, other than that, uh, let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comments below. I don't really have anything else I want to mention as far as the makeup goes, but I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me video, and I thank you so much for sticking with me, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys.